Well, good hump day to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Gracious Almighty. Hope everybody's having a good hump day. But you know what? We had some storms roll through uh, East Central Mississippi last night and it laid down a bunch of my maple plants. Got them staked up right now and I'm going to show you that. But uh, we got to get to trellising up some uh, tomato plants. I'm going to take y'all along with me and show you what I do. <laughs> All right, let's go. These are the things that we're going to need to trellis up tomato plants. I got some tomato clips. These are the recycled ones I just use over and over again. They're UV resistant, last a long time. Some nylon twine and a pair of scissors. That's about all you're going to need. Look at him. I had to stake up my tomato plant this morning and it looks like it broke off right there. Something, something broke off. Anyways, this joker was laid over. We must have got some winds over here in East Central Mississippi. I also had to stake up these two guys, these two Romas right here. But if you notice, I don't have a trellis system for that, but I'm just gonna have to stake these up and tie these made of plants to this stake. And I think it'll work. So let's get to working on getting these made of plants trellised up. What I normally do is, and also I'm gonna, I got you on the big tripod. Once I get uh, these guys trellised up real good, I'll uh, get you back on a, on a small tripod and I'll show you, give you some close-ups of what it looks like. But all I'm doing basically is running my string through my eye hooks at the top of my uh, trellis system and I'm gonna use a tomato clip just to hold it in place. I used to tie them, tie the string back in a day, but uh, too much work. These things uh, work real good and hold them in place really well. Connect it at the top and point you down and kind of somewhat show you what's going on. Okay, here is the made of plant that I want to stake up or trellis up. So I'm gonna pull this stake out. I'm gonna run my string down to the bottom of it and I'm gonna find me an anchor point on this mater. That's where I'm gonna start. See, I'm gonna have to do some uh, pruning on this guy, but that's okay. Might get it one more time. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Number one, done. And this nylon string, you see it unravels. So all I do is I just tie me a knot down at the bottom to keep it from unraveling and cut this off. All right, so there's the first one. Got it uh, trellised up. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the rest of these done and I will bring you back and show you what it looks like. I'm supposed to be getting some thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to do a, a big old B try to do a rush job on getting these guys trellised up because it's starting to get dark uh, to the south. So give me a second and I'll, I'll bring you back. All right, you and y'all, let me show you. I started to sprinkle here just a second ago. But let me give you, show, let me give you some show, uh, close ups of what it looks like. All I did was I actually used a tomato clip to bind this piece of twine. It runs all the way down to the mater, down to the base of the mater. And that's what, what anchors it and I went up just a little bit each time. And the concept behind this method is it's just to hold a tomato in an upright position. Uh, I don't particularly care to use tomato cages or stakes, but I use stakes on these maters that I have uh, elsewhere in the raised beds that aren't supported by a trellis system. But the concept's real, real easy. Grow straight and it keeps the the, the tomato plant itself from swaying in the wind. These, indetermin e these are indeterminate uh, tomato plants, so they will get high. Uh, these plants will go all the way up there if I let them go. Sometimes I'll top them off, sometimes I'll let them go. As this tomato plant uh, gets higher and grows, I'll just keep adding a tomato clip up the line. Something else I wanted to point out on, you, on these clips, you notice that I'm using these clips at a uh, stem joint. What, what you don't want to do is you don't want to put this made a clip up here close to this fruit because I've actually seen the fruit grow in between the main stalk and the tomato clip and you'll have a, <laughs> you'll have a deformed mater. So I try to stay away from the fruit. See here's some flowers right here and I'm down at the bottom. I just wanted to point that out. And as you can see, I have everybody trellised up. I'm sure you see those clouds in the background too. Very, very, very effective uh, way to trellis your 
uh, your maters. Again, I just have a few mater plants in this bed. Uh, last year I had, I want to say, 11 mater plants, which was way too much. I wanted to show you and y'all how I trellised up my tomatoes, and it worked pretty good. Been doing it this way for the last uh, 10 years, and I haven't had any problems with it thus far. So y'all, if you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up, they help. If you have not subscribed to the Home in the Six channel, y'all need to show enough, come over, give me a look, because I'm always doing stuff, really. And with that being said, you know what's coming, they ain't showing sure enough gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull you shine, and I mean nobody. Especially when you're trellising up your mater plants. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.